A portrait containing the Duchess of Sussex has been left off the Queen's most prominent display table at Buckingham Palace. Britain's monarch keeps photos of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, along with Prince Harry, on the main table. However Meghan and Harry's engagement photo was removed at some point between July and October 2019. And placed on a second table further back, video and photographs from the Queen's first in-person audience with the Prime Minister in 15 months, revealed it remains in the relegated position. Under normal circumstances the Queen meets Britain's PM for talks every week, but this was suspended due to the coronavirus pandemic. The Sussex's engagement photo was on the Premier table in July 2019, when the Queen invited Boris Johnson to form a government. However it had been moved by October, when she met Grenadian High Commissioner Kisha Alexander-Grant. This took place just days after an ITV documentary on the Sussex's Africa tour aired, during which Meghan admitted she had been struggling. Harry and Meghan stood down from frontline royal duties in March 2020 and moved to California. Relations with the wider royal family deteriorated further a year later in March 2021, when the Sussexes were interviewed by Oprah Winfrey for CBS. Meghan claimed, concerns and conversations were raised about Archie's skin tone ahead of his birth. She explained, that was relayed to me from Harry, those were conversations that family had with him. Harry confirmed a discussion had taken place adding, that conversation, I am never going to share. At the time, it was awkward, I was a bit shocked, Meghan also alleged she struggled to get mental health support from within the royal system. In response Buckingham Palace released a rare statement on behalf of the Queen, expressing regret at Meghan's suffering. However it also noted, some recollections may vary, about the events discussed. Video released from the Queen's first Prime Ministerial audience in 15 months shows her describing Matt Hancock. The Health Secretary, as a poor man, as Mr Johnson bows the monarch comments, how nice to see you again. The Prime Minister replies, it's been 15 months, in response the Queen states, good heavens. It's most extraordinary, Prince Harry speaking at an event promoting COVID vaccines for the developing world, image, Getty. I've just been talking to your Secretary of State for Health, poor man. He came for Privy Council. Texts released by Dominic Cummings, formerly the PM's chief advisor. Reveal Mr. Johnson described Matt Hancock as hopeless over part of his pandemic handling. Labour's deputy leader Angela Rayner has called for a public inquiry into the government's pandemic handling, as quickly as possible. 